Hey there everyone, this is Cloud Chief, and in today's video, I'm going over how you install Final Fantasy XI from scratch on any Windows-based computer. Considering how old FFXi is, you can install this on pretty much any current Windows OS, including Windows XP, Vista, all the way up to Windows 10. For anyone who isn't very tech savvy, you might be asking, what operating system do you recommend? And that is really going to come down to what are you doing with your computer. If you are using your computer that you plan on playing 11 on for basically anything and everything, then I would recommend that you are using Windows 10. If you are surfing the internet, downloading things, then you're going to want to be using the latest operating system from Microsoft that is getting patches and updates for vulnerabilities that come out and have a halfway decent antivirus and or malware program on your operating system. However, if you plan to use this computer only for Final Fantasy XI and you're not going to use it for anything else, you're not going to be using it for web browsing, you're not going to be using it for downloading content off the internet and everything, I would honestly recommend that you use Windows 7 and don't have an antivirus and don't have malware applications on your computer. I can already hear some keyboards uh, typing and people are like, what? You're recommending an outdated OS with no anti-malware or antivirus applications on your computer? And the answer is yes. Again, if all you're doing on this computer is using it for FFXI and nothing else, because if you're not surfing the web, if you're not going out on the internet, you're only using it to connect to the 11 servers, which is through a secure connection and not doing anything else, you have basically no chances of getting a virus or malware on the computer. You're not surfing the internet and buying stuff, so you're not putting in your credit card. There's basically no risk of being hacked, and even if you do get hacked, what are they hacking? They're hacking your computer that has uh, 11 files on there. So it's no real risk. The computer would run faster and smoother because it would be using less resources for those other applications. Plus, Windows 10 can be somewhat resource intensive depending on how old your computer is. So now let's get on to the installation process and how you go about installing 11 on your computer so you can actually play 11. So go ahead and navigate to playonline.com and once you are on that website go ahead and click what region you are from and then you'll be taken to the 11 page for your region next you want to go ahead and click on download on the top right of the bar then go ahead and click on windows install on the next page you are going to want to download all five parts of the Ultimate Collection Seekers Edition. Once you have downloaded all five parts, make sure that they are all in the same folder. I personally recommend moving all five parts to its own separate folder that you can have for storage, so that way it's not muddying up your downloads folder where you downloaded it from. Once you have all five parts downloaded and all in the same folder, go ahead and run part one this will actually start a self-extraction process. You do not need any tools or any other programs for unzipping this stuff. The way this is set up, it will self-extract all by itself without the help of any other applications. You can do this with just the downloads. Once the extraction is done, you should now have a new folder where you had the downloads saying FFXI full setup underscore whatever region you're from. At this point, you want to go ahead and run the FFXI setup application that is in the root of this new folder. At this, you should get a pop-up with three checkboxes. One saying DirectX, End User Runtime, Play Online Viewer, and Final Fantasy XI. Go ahead and check all three checkboxes and then click Install. It will now start to install DirectX. Go ahead and click I accept the agreement and click next. 
you will then want to click next on the next window and that will actually start the install process. Once DirectX is finished installing, you should get a window that says install is complete. Go ahead and click finish. Once you finish the DirectX install, it should immediately kick off and start to install Play Online. Once the install for Play Online comes up, click next, then go ahead and check the checkbox that says I accept the terms of the license agreement, then click next. So then go ahead and click next two more times. Then you will be at a window that is asking whether you want to create a desktop icon for Play Online. I recommend you do just for ease of access for getting onto 11 by having a desktop icon so you can just click install. But if for whatever reason you don't want an icon on your desktop, then just uncheck the checkbox and click install. At this point, the application is installing Play Online. Once it finishes, go ahead and click on the button that says finish. And finally, the self extraction will be ready to start installing Final Fantasy 11 itself. Just go ahead and click on the next button to start the install. You have to once again go ahead and check the checkbox to accept the agreement. Then go ahead and click next two more times. Then you will once again be asked whether you want to create an icon. And then go ahead and click install. The install for 11 will take a few minutes. And once it's done, you will be at a window that says finish so go ahead and click that and you have finished installing 11 on your computer at this point you are ready to go ahead and update play online in 11 so you can actually connect to the servers to play the game so go ahead and launch play online and then you'll be at a window that says update to the latest version click on next and then go ahead and click update and it will go ahead and connect to the play online servers and start to download the files that it needs to update play online once it finishes checking downloading and installing all the update files for play online go ahead and then click ok and then next and then play online will close and restart after a minute or two once Play Online starts, you need to already have an account ready so that way you can go ahead and enter all your account information so you can log on to the servers and start playing the game. I will go over how you go about creating a Square Enix account and a Play Online ID in a whole nother video because that is a whole nother process. So when you're ready, you go ahead and click for online members start play online registration no longer works so don't even bother clicking it it's just going to tell you that you need to go online to create a square enix account and get your account configured on the next screen is where you're going to all the enter the information so that way you can actually log on to play online and connect to the servers your member name is just going to be the displayed account. It doesn't really matter what is put in here. This is just supposed to differentiate if you have multiple people in the same household that are going to be using the same computer to log in. That way you know, okay, so this is my account and this account's my brothers or sisters or whoever, roommates. So just go ahead and enter whatever you want under member name. For play online ID, you need to enter your Play Online ID, which will be four uppercase letters and four numbers. Just note that it is case sensitive. I've never seen a Play Online ID actually be lowercase numbers. So make sure when you enter it, you are entering it in uppercase or it won't accept it. Next, you need to change password to set. You have to have the password set because at this point you have to use a Square Enix ID. So go ahead and set your password and then go ahead and type in whatever your Play Online password is in the box. For member password, that is just for a password to actually get onto the account. So this is, again, if you have multiple people logging in, but say your roommate uses the same computer or your brother or sister uses the same computer to try and log on, you can set a password here so that way they can't access your account and log into your character and do anything without knowing what the password is that you're setting here. So then go ahead and enter your Square Enix ID. This is going to be whatever your Square Enix ID is that you use when you log in on the website to go ahead and pay for your subscription or whatever. Enter that in here and then you can go ahead and set 
the one-time password if you have the token or not. So the one-time password is if you have a soft token or even if you have a hard token where the number updates every like 10 to 20 seconds and that's where you would enter the number. If you don't have one of these set, then you have it to do not set. Once you're done entering the information, just go ahead and click register. Then it should take you to a confirm info page, which will have all the info listed. And then you will just click yes. After that, you will have the account registered. Then you can go ahead to the next screen and click log in to play online now. And you should see your member ID that you entered for your account. You just go ahead and click on that. So then you will go ahead and then click log on. Then you will be prompted for your Square Enix password. You will also be prompted for your one-time password, which is off of your token if you have one of those set up. There's also a checkbox that says automatically log in at startup. If you check that box, it will bring you directly to this window where it's prompting you for your password and your one-time token. So that way you don't have to go ahead and click on your account. I would only do that if you are the only account that is being logged in onto this PC. That way they don't have to cancel out to go to another account if you're logging in or someone else is logging in on the same computer to a different account. Once you've entered the information, just go ahead and click connect. And if everything is correct, you will go ahead and log on to the Play Online server. If this is your first time logging into this account, you will be prompted to create a handle ID. Just go ahead and type in whatever you want the ID to be designated. This is just, it attaches the actual characters that you create in game to an account. Then, since this should be a new install, you will be prompt it with the user agreement you can just go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom if you have a mouse you can just grab the little tab and just scroll it all the way to the bottom because it won't allow you to click accept until you've gone through the entire agreement so just scroll down to the bottom and then click accept you should now finally be at a window that has a bunch of different options on it at the top left, you should see something that says Final Fantasy XI. You go ahead and click on that. Then it'll take you to the next window. And at the top, you should see a button that says Play. Click that, and then it'll take you to another window that says Play and Back. Just go ahead and click Play. And now it'll start the update process if you are not on the latest version. So go ahead and just click Update and it will now go through an update process very similar to what it did to play online. This is going to be by far the longest process in this whole getting 11 installed. So at this point, go grab a coffee or take a break for a while because it's probably going to take close to half an hour, if not longer, depending on your internet speed, to go ahead and finish updating 11. Once this update is finished, you will come to a screen that you have to accept every time you log in, basically saying that you agree to the terms and agreement to play online on the servers. Go ahead and click accept, and now you will actually be at the character login screen where you can go ahead and click create character if you need to create a new character or if you have existing characters already connected to this account you can just select them and now log in and congratulations you can finally start playing Final Fantasy 11. It is nice that Square Enix took this and streamlined this process because as much of a pain as it is to get 11 installed if you've never installed it before or played before I promise you it was substantially harder and worse to install than this before so as much of a pain as this is this process has been streamlined significantly to make it easier to get installed and this is the current way to get 11 installed and I see this being the way it's going to be going forward until they decide to shut down the servers. And that wraps up this video for getting 11 installed on your computer. If you need help with the Square Enix stuff, or if you're interested in checking out the 14-day free trial account, check down in the link in the description for links to those videos. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel. And may you have success in all you do.